right, so uh, I've been posting about my avocado plants because it's the first time I've ever really grown an avocado tree successfully. And uh, I think I've come up with some tips and some tricks that have helped me get to this point with my avocado babies. I think that they might help you. And so big first shout out to at growing avo babies. I love that account. That human is really, really awesome. And I've actually learned a lot of these uh, tips from her. So uh, check her out. But here's, here's, here's how I do it. So, you know, you take your avocado and I actually like to slice it in fours. And the reason I, I like to slice it in fours is because then you just pop it off. And you don't have to do that like weird knife thing where you put the knife in and you wiggle it around because you actually might cause some damage to the nut. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wash it off. So I'm just going to give it just a quick wipe because I'll fix it up after. See how there is this like brown skin on the seed, right? What you actually want to do, and according to Act Growing Avo Babies, is you want to very gently peel that skin off. And some avocados, it's easier to do this than others. Mm. Uh, avocado, come on. Um, oh, 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 here we go. It actually does help to wash it. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> okay, we're back. Okay, so pro tip, uh, apparently it's easier to take off the skin while it's running underwater. So there you go. Is once you've removed the skin off of the seed, right, then what you want to do is you want to take some paper towel, put the seed in the paper towel, wet the paper towel, and you want to take a like Ziploc bag like this. You take the seed, you put the seed in the baggie. Now I do it up a little bit, but not the whole way. There needs to be a little bit of airflow. I take this baggie and uh, I put it in the sun. I put it right on my wind on my uh, on my windowsill, and once it's on my windowsill. It sits there and it hangs out and then it'll start to grow a little tail and that little tail is the root. I mean, these took me, these took us like almost a month to like where I was confident in that root, you know what I mean? Where I wasn't like, I don't know if this is growing. I, you know, I left it on my windowsill in the sun for about a month and just making sure that there was a lot of moisture still in, in the bed, making sure that there's also some air so that it doesn't rot, right? You don't want it to rot, but you want that kind of like warm greenhouse effect to happen here. Then you get uh, some toothpicks and you kind of put them in one, two, three, or you can do two or three, it depends. Three is probably better. And you put the three toothpicks in and around it and then you put it in a jar with water. This is eventually what starts to happen. So the root will go first, and this root decides to grow all the way down to the bottom, and then you'll start to see in the middle that the plant, like the, the tree, is actually going to start to grow up. So this is what it mine looks like after uh, about two months, I'd say, is what it's taken for us to get here. A couple months for us to get to this place. Um, but avocado trees take a long time to grow, and sometimes they won't even fruit, especially if you bought your avocado um, and it wasn't organic. Some tips, okay, some tips. In the beginning, you wanna make sure that the seed is surrounded by a lot of water. But this seed, I really let some of the water start to come down so that the, the root would have some ambition to grow, some motivation to grow. Do you have to keep the seed always in water? Like you, you don't want there's to be no water in this, and definitely not like less than halfway, but you know, if you let it go down about a quarter of the jar, that's gonna be quite all right. Also, you wanna make sure that you're changing your water. I actually have to change this one, but you have to change your water every three to five days uh, just to get some freshness in there. So if you happen to have a seed um, and you know it has the root, but there's no growth that starts to pop up through the top. Uh, planting Avo Baby says that you can just plant it in the ground and then hope for the best. Maybe that seed doesn't want to uh, grow in water. Maybe it wants to grow in soil. I, you don't know that seed's life. No, you can't judge it. This has been my successful way to uh, grow this tree thus far. So yeah, have some fun with it. Happy growing. Love you guys. Get your hearts up.